Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to be using the Divi Supremes plugin again and we're going to make this full width carousel, this image carousel. And of course you can link it to wherever you want to link it to. Really easy to do so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where I want to work. And I'm going to simply get rid of this whole row and we'll start again from scratch. So I'm going to add a new row, which is a little green button right here. The blue buttons for a section. I'm going to put in one column. Now before I put in a module, I'm going to make our row full width because we want our little image carousel to stretch from one side of the screen to the other. So I'm going to hit the little cog on the green tab there, go to design and then sizing. I'm going to slide the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy 100% and paste it in below or you can type it in however you like to do it. We've now got a full width row. Now I'm going to hit the little black button to add a module. Divi as standard comes with all these light grey modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. But when you add Divi Supreme modules, these dark blue ones here, you get an extra 40 or so to play with. So today I want the uh, Supreme Carousel images. There we go, Supreme Image Carousel. When you open it up, it'll prompt you to add some images. Just hit the little cross there. So let's go and grab some images. There we go, I'm sure that'll do. Now you can left click and drag your images and, and put them in different places. And as you can see, it's thrown them in below. And we've pretty much got a carousel going already, which is great. So let's go back into our content. I'll shut the image carousel and we'll open the carousel settings. Now I'd like to show more slides than that. That's pretty good and they're nice and big, but they're a bit too big. So we've got four there. I'm going to bump it up to six or even eight. Yeah, I think six is good. I mean, eight's fine too, but I think six works best for me for these images wanted to scroll it one slide at a time. Speed that it's taking, I'm going to slow that down just a little bit. That's a bit more. Gives people enough time to actually look at a picture before it moves on. I do want it to autoplay, change intervals 3000, so that's 3 seconds, that's fine. Spacing, I'm actually going to take that down to 0. So they're all touching each other. I'm going to put a little border behind it in a minute. Infinite looping, that's fine. We want it to keep going round and round. Show arrow, that's okay too. It's off the end at the moment. Show pagination, that's great. Use the grab cursor, that's fine too. We can open images in the light box if you want them to be able to click on them and open in a light box. And you can open it in lightbox gallery mode, which they'll be able to, once they're in the lightbox, flick through the images. And you can display a caption if you want to. You can put it in background if you need to, but I'm not going to do that today. Layout wise, horizontal alignment won't make much difference to us at the moment. They're square pictures. giving it, it's aligning it to the actual row itself there. So I think center was best. Now arrow position, you can't see your arrow because it's on the outside and that's off the screen. So let's put it on the inside. And there we've got our little arrows on the inside there. So let's change the color to white so we can see them. There we go. Don't want them to be there too much. If you wanted to, you can put a background color in. 
and take the opacity down so you can barely see it but I think I'm probably just going to leave mine actually that's not too bad not too obtrusive and you've got the pagination down below and I'll just change the active color to purple I'm going to leave the other one just as it is that sort of see-through gray now the image itself I'm going to put a little border around here so I'm going to go to image border width and just take it up to one and I'm going to make that black just for this I think it works a little bit better and then to finish off I'm just going to go all the way down to the box shadow for the main carousel hit the box shadow right there and see we've got a gap at between that now if we go back to our design and our alignment the layout and put it on the bottom that'll work there we go that'll work perfectly like that fantastic so there's our carousel let's save our changes and check it out let's save the draft exit the visual builder go down to where we worked and there it is there's our little full width carousel with some pretty nice looking images there we could have linked it to a shop or a store but we've got it linking to a light box so when I click on one of these it'll pop out into what they call a light box and because we enabled the gallery you've got the arrows so you can actually scroll through them on the light box my image is pretty small but uh, if you've got larger images obviously they'll be larger on the screen so there you have it I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.